Salutations. Let's talk about human invisibility. All right? Human invisibility. This can occur in three different ways. One, it's spontaneous human invisibility. The next is a scientific invisibility involving knowing how the cones and rods of the eye function that can actually lead to someone appearing invisible. The third would be metamaterials and scientific invisibility. They're using a thing called metamaterials right now that allows soldiers and different uh, objects to appear invisible, all right? We'll focus, for starters, on spontaneous invisibility. Spontaneous human invisibility, all right? There are also techniques that can be practiced to try to incur this. It involves gathering um, what's called orgone or prana energy around you, life energy, and using that to convert like electrons in a way that bends light. All right, That's been something that uh, shamans have been known to do, something uh, certain gurus have practiced, and something that even magicians have tried. All right, Alchemists throughout history have tried spontaneous human invisibility. It's also been, um, there have been accounts of it throughout history that can be looked up by anybody as well. Um, that kind of interests me the most in that we've had certain people that have really practiced that. The next type is the scientific invisibility involving the cones and rods of the eye. You must know how the eye functions to become invisible to the observer. There's things that people have, something called a line of sight. People, most people don't look that much above them or below them. They have a line of sight, okay? Peripheral is only seeing out of the side, is only in black and white. Often why people see spirits crossing in their peripheral vision, all right? In black and white. The other is going to be how the rods and cones of the eye actually perceive, which is first we perceive movement, then color, then silhouette in a fun function about like that. So it doesn't take much for a person at night to be able to elude these senses, all right? That would be the second type of indivis invisibility. The third type, um, which is going to be using actually, sorry, I'm going to use that book, using actually technology, something meta, uh, the military is doing, which is using something called metamaterials, which is, involves a type of quasi-crystal technology that actually bends light. And that's been being illustrated as far as in the movies for a long time. Think about Predator. Predator had a device on his wrist that would bend light around them so that they couldn't be seen. All right? That's the same as metamaterials. All right? Going back quickly to spontaneous human invisibility again, I also included this book over the Kundalinis and the Chakras because this gives you ways through the science of breathing how to actually accumulate orgone energy, prana energy within your body to actually try to produce this actually invisibility cloud, all right? Heads up, if you're like me, this is one of the techniques I tried when I was younger. I tried several of these. The scientific one is easy. You can learn that. But the spontaneous one, the practicing trying to gather the orgone and prana, I had trouble with it at first. I tried the techniques. They did not produce immediate third dimensional results so I went on to something else, all right? Later on, they did produce something. Something did happen. I did experience something in the third dimension, all right? But it didn't happen right as I was practicing it. Sometimes we put this energy into these techniques, put it out there, and they come back at a different time, all right? Be aware of that. Hopefully this helps. It's just food for thought. Um, I'll tie this in real quick before we get done with Sasquatch. Some people keep saying they see Sasquatch, uh, disappear, dematerialize. The Native uh, American elders that I talked to from several tribes described them, Sasquatch, as a tribe, in which case you would have shamans of that tribe. Some that are probably practicing some techniques similar to this, spontaneous human invisibility. That isn't just re regulated to Homo sapiens, I doubt. And maybe we don't know what type of creatures we're actually dealing with. Once again, food for thought. God bless.